Now there is another entity called Enchondroma. Why I have selected both of these two side by side? Though they are benign, I have not given it as a separate entity because they appears to be pathologically synonym, and you can remember also because it is a central one. It is a central area that is the one. This is what is called Enchondroma. It is having the tumor is in the central. When you discuss central part, a central part, central part. Hands and feet are the very, very important areas. Tumor is in the central. I told you in the center. In the center, they are there. Eccentric, astroclastoma, annual bonuses, chondroblastoma, and very, very peripherally in the intracortical, that is osteoid astoma, periosteal osteoid astoma, and periosteal osteosarcoma. Like that, I have given a transverse table also yesterday. This enchondroma is in the inside the medullary cavity. And then hand and hand and feet, hands and feet are the common areas. Short bones, affected phalanges are the most affected bones. And there are two conditions associated with the enchondroma. If it is single, it may be in the long bone. If it is multiple, it is in the hands and feet bones. And one, two diseases. One is Allier's disease and Muffsy's syndrome. Allier's disease is the disease when there is a multiple enchondromatosis. And if there is a multiple enchondromatosis plus Hemangiomas that is called Muffsy's disease. Multiple enchondromatous plus hemangiomas that is Muffsy's disease. For this, the enchondroma we are, we are studying. It is a growth, central growth plate, and then these two are the syndromes. See this one. See this is the osteochondroma. Results from the failure of this, this slide you have already seen there. Results from the failure of the normal endochondral ossification below the growth plate, dysplasia of the central growth plate, central growth plate. Adolescents or young adults, the particular is not there, adolescents and young adults, because it is a tumor of growth and disorders. Adolescents, young adults, bones affected, short bones of the hands and feet also. Part of the bone affected is in the medulla, central in the medulla, or it is metaphysis. If you take the microscope section, because it is a cartilage tumor, you will see in the lobules. Lobules separated a small fibrous septa. And then there are two clinical entities associated with it. The one is Allier's disease, second is Muffsy syndrome. Allier disease, multiple growths and deformities of the hand, which may result into the shorting of the shortness of the hands. And then I have already forgotten to tell you in the multiple osteochondromatas, there may be shortening. There may be shortening in an entity called multiple osteochondroma, the previous one. There may be shortening also. The limbs may become short. Here also, because of the enchondromata, the limbs may become short. Shortness, developmental shortness, sh cause of shortnesses. One is achondroplasia, developmental achondroplasia. And then these tumors, osteoch multiple osteochondromatases, multiple osteochondromatases can also produce short, in addition to rickets, etc. Muffsy syndrome, multiple enchondromatases with soft tissue hemangiomas. The curatage and bone graft. Curatage and bone graft. Some time ago, I think I got in the entrance examination when I was reading, treatment of enchondroma is curatage and bone graft. Curatage and bone graft. That was the bit. Penine and asymptomatic cartilage in a bone. Adolescents are young adults between the age of 20 and 30. Intramedullary cartilage lesion located in the central metaphysis may eventually penetrate into the diaphysis. Short bones of the hand commonly seen. Other locations include the long bones like proximal humerus and femur. Proximal humerus and femur, where bony cysts are also common. Where bony cysts are common, unicameral bony cysts are also common there. Consists of lobulated mass of cartilage encapsulated by fibrous tissue. Intracellular matrix may undergo mucoid degeneration because it is cartilage tissue. Frequently, the fibrous septa dividing the lobules are calcified. This fibrous septa, which are dividing the lobules, are calcified. That is another character of this enchondroma. The fibrous septa we were seeing dividing, they may be calcified. Lobules of different sizes separated a small septa of fibrous tissue. Often it is difficult, sometimes it is very difficult to differentiate between chondrosarcoma and enchondroma. Because I told you, both are almost represent the endochondral ossification. They represent the endochondral ossification. 
it depends on the virulence and rapidity and and a customization or adjustment of the nearby surrounding structure so they may represent, they may sometimes it is difficult small bones of the hands and feet are commonly affected the presenting complaint is a long standing swelling of one or more phalanges of hands and feet without much pain the swelling increases in slow size very slow often totally replaces the bone sometimes what happen the swelling increases 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 to such an extent slowly the bone may be disappearing slow totally replacing so if it is a phalanx like this one if it is a phalanx like then the swelling starts here they may increase 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 and the total after some time the totally the entire thing may be entry because a small bone there may be very thin rim of bone there it may be totally replaced by the tumor itself that is the that is that is the difficult the, the diagram is it is slowly increasing and almost replacing the bone expanding lytic lesion in one or more bones overlying cortices are thinned out the tumor matrix has stippled calcification remember stippled calcification always a tumor of cartilage cartilage origin cartilage origin see the same figure see the metab mri and ct is see the how much extent it has gone see this is the what's called multiple osteochondromatosis this is the central osteochondroma that is solitary this is multiple solitary multiple this is multiple again in the page almost the same this this side this type of picture this type of picture you will see in the fungal osteomyelitis fungal osteomyelitis mycetoma like that this picture you will be seeing and chronic granulomatous what's called a fungal infections also will be seeing like this picture although chondromatous occurs in small ends chondroma in small bones are not known to undergo malignant change but those in the long bones may change into the chondrosarcoma in the small bones like hand and feet they may not go into the malignancy but in the long bones there is a chance is more than the chondroma occurring in the short bones so you can have now three entities in the in chondromas one is solitary in chondroma alliers disease and mopsis syndrome solitary 1% chance of becoming malignancy alliers disease alliers disease will be having multiple in chondromatous in long bone diaphysis non hereditary it is not hereditary that is a uh, different 10 to 30% of chance more than this solitary one 10 to 30% of this formation of mal malignant formation the growth at the epiphyseal plate may be affected and leading to shortening because if there are multiple the growth at this central area may be lost and there may be shortening if it is expands more and more the entire growth plate may be damaged and it will become shorter so associated with high rate of both skeletal and non skeletal malignancies growth at the adjacent epiphys plate may affected leading to shortening of the deformities mopsis syndrome it is a multiple enchondroma with a soft tissue hemangiomas 100% chance of malignancy 1% 30% 100% chance of malignancy there is a increased risk of visceral malignancies they may be associated with visceral malignancies visceral malignancies visceral malignancies that is astrocytoma and gi malignancy all years disease multiple enchondromatous multiple growth and deformities of the bone whereas mopsis syndrome multiple enchondromatous with soft tissue hemangioma the same thing the same thing see the same thing see this another one this see, see the typical hemangiomas you can see typical hemangiomas this is the x ray picture hemangiomas flebolis that means stone see stone structures in the veins itself so peripheral calcification of the flebolis in hemangiomas treatment and unsightly appearance is the clinically indication 
the level is curated thoroughly and the cavity if it is big is filled with bone grafts prognosis is good for this and chondroma short bones medulla central medulla lobule separated allier's disease mopsis syndrome are the clinical entities keratase and bone graft we will break for 2 minutes ఏమన్నా ఉన్నాయా క్వశ్చన్స్ ఏంటది